Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half Alpha Wolf 33BH-L. This is a triple slide out bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside, then we're going to close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the all new Alpha Wolf 33BH-L. Again, triple slide out bunk house bath and a half trailer here. You've seen it on the floor plan that was up a second ago. We're gonna start here in the kitchen living room area and kind of work our way around. Um, you can see the little blue accent LED lighting that is above all three slides. I'm gonna turn that off. There is a light switch here on the control panel to kind of kill all three of those. Um, but over here on the right, we have our super slide, the big slide basically, that has your traditional booth dinette in it, which does have some storage below, and it does also make into a bed. Nice little decorative pendant lighting up above there. Now over here you have a jackknife sofa that does flip down into a small bed and there's a little storage underneath there as well. Sofa directly across from the little entertainment area here. So you have an electric fireplace which is basically just a fancy electric space heater but they look pretty cool in campers. A um, little bit of uh, TV area here, so you could probably do about a 40 inch flat screen there, maybe a hair bigger. Um, TV is technically an option, it's just kind of a plain Jane TV if you do get that option from the factory. Uh, I know a lot of people are wanting to buy smart TVs or getting really good deals on some TVs around this time of year going into the holidays. Um, so it's kind of your choice when you order the RV, get the TV from the factory or get your own aftermarket. They don't force you to take their plain TV. Um, USB charger ports right there above the countertop there. And your stereo system, again, a little radio system, does have a uh, kind of a decent little subwoofer right here. So you got a couple indoor speakers, outdoor speakers also, and then a little subwoofer there. Now on the side of the little entertainment center there is a Two, uh, it's basically a two-way light switch kind of deal. Um, that flips back between the fireplace or the microwave. So you can't use both at the same time, but you're either gonna turn on the fireplace or use the microwave, one of the two. Spinning on around here, looking forward. Nice little island kitchen here. Quite a bit of counter space. You have the high-rise spring sprayer faucet here they even have a little hand sanitizer pump here as well now you have the undermount little farm sink look it's kind of a dark stainless look you do have some storage underneath and then over on the right side you have three full extending drawers that are on ball bearing drawer guides and just below that is also your propane leak detector. On the side of the island, there is also USB and electric outlet down here. And one other thing I didn't really get to show you, there is also a little blue light there too. So when you turn on and off the slide out lights, the little uh, blue accent lights up there, that also turns on and off that island light and you can also see up top here there's a little light in those speakers that are blue as well now on the side of the island here you got a little heat vent down there that blows out The unit, you'll see a sticker in all the Alpha Wolves that kind of talks about the one control there. Um, basically, it's a little app you can download and kind of control a few features on your RV. Over here, you have the Greystone oven with the three burner stovetop. 
has the glass lid. Uh, basically the lid kind of flips back and forth, kind of acts as a backsplash, but also gives you a little more counter space if you're not using that. There's also a little cutting board back in behind there as well that's also trying to act as a backsplash if you're not using that portion. A little bit of storage down there. And you have your microwave and a little storage up above the uh, hood range and fan there. The 12 volt, 10.7 cubic foot ever chill refrigerator. Again, it's a 12 volt version. Um, when you're traveling down the road that runs off the battery, this particular unit also has the nice little 50 watt solar panel that's trying to help juice the battery back up. Uh, so if you're boondock camping or some of that type of stuff, you know, a couple good batteries on the front would definitely be nice along with those solar panel trying to help juice things back up. You have ducted air, which this is a Coleman air conditioner that they're using. It kind of blows out the little round vents in the ceiling. And you can also open these up here and dump out most of the air directly into the living room area if you wanted to. And you have little filters here that you've got to clean out every now and then. On the uh, side here by the door, you do have your electric box with your breakers and fuses down there. A little storage and shelving area here as well. And then your kind of control center is all right here. So you have your awning in and out button. You have your slide in and out button for all three slides. Light switches here. Water heater on gas button. The electric button's outside. You'll see when we get there. And then your water pump switch. Battery condition, fresh water, black water, gray water, all that stuff right here to see how full it actually is. Um, one control code, depending on uh, you know your unit there, it'll be a little different every time. Digital thermostat for the air and the heat right here. We have our dimmer switch right here for that edge awning lighting you'll see when we get outside. And also when you do the solar panel, you get a little bit of an upgraded voltmeter here as well. And one control hotspot, basically it's a pre-prep for this system. So there is a uh, 4G LT uh, Wi-Fi system you can buy, stick on the roof. Uh, again, it's all prepped for that if you wanted to do that. And over on this side here, there's a little bit more shelf and storage space. We're gonna go up this way next. This is the full bathroom. You're gonna have a half bath back by the kids room when we get back there. Um, foot flush toilet here, porcelain bowl. A little hard to see, so we're gonna pop up a few pictures of this. We're gonna spin around here. There is a decent amount of space in there to kind of get around and get dressed, but with the swinging door, it does make it a little awkward. So you want to, it's easy to use when the door is actually closed there. Do you have your uh, sink over there on the left? One of the motion lights. Uh, you'll also see those out in the storage department when we get there. And then you've got your little medicine cabinet and some overhead light as well. Panning on up here a little bit, you have a turbo exhaust fan to help move out all that moisture from a nice shower. Air conditioning vent in there. And you have a nice little linen closet and everything over here on the right. And a little bit of space down below there for stuff. Now your shower is a glass enclosure, a little sliding glass enclosure area right there. And there's a skylight up above there as well. Now on the bedroom side of things, your master bedroom over here it does have a sliding door, so you don't have to worry about a swing door here on this side. Camper queen bed. You have a little nightstand on each side. You have hanging closet on each side. And then you also have some overhead cabinets. There's an electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the... Uh, bed area. 
you have a window on both sides of the bed. Now the window over there, that long window, does not actually open. But the one behind me that you'll see when we spin around here again will open. So there is room to maneuver around the bedroom area here. Um, this bed also, guys, pops up. So you do have some storage underneath of there too. Looking down here at the floor, you can also see the heat vent blowing out there on the uh, lower side. You have your electric outlet over there. Now on that side, that is set up for a little charger for like a portable Bluetooth speaker. Um, so that is a little bit different. It does not come with the speaker, but it is set up for that little charging station. And I guess they're kind of promoting whoever's brand of speaker that is. Uh, TV hookups over there, so if you wanted to do a small flat screen up there, you could do that. It's backed forward in the wall there, and your hookups are up there. Going on back out here into the living room kitchen area here. We're going to head on back to the kids' room. Um, another little thing, too, while we're headed back there does have the uh, roller shades also guys pretty cool in the living room area over here on the left we're gonna have behind this door here the half bath we'll go to that in a second but we have a bunk area right there which that is over top of the little outdoor kitchen area you'll see that when we get back outside again a little bit of storage shelf space there. There is a fold-out ladder over there as well. TV hookups there in the center, so you could again probably put about a 32-inch, maybe a 40-inch TV there. Window in the back does open. Little pull-down nightshade on that window, and on the window over here as well. Now on this side, you have a little jackknife sofa setup. Some storage underneath of there. Now the top bunk actually flips up. So this just raises up and latches into place giving the kids a little more headroom if they're sitting in here on a rainy day wanting to play a video game or something. Mostly vinyl floor throughout the coach except for on the slide out sections. Up top there is another electric outlet and USB chargers up there as well. kids little half bath area here uh, you have the little turbo exhaust fan up top there entry door going straight out the bathroom to the outside area there again porcelain foot flush toilet little cabinet area here another motion light little sink area and a little medicine cabinet and also there is air conditioning in this bathroom as well so pretty neat little bath and a half triple slide family unit here we're gonna take a minute we're gonna run through the outside for you guys and then we're gonna come back inside and close it all up we'll be right back on the outside all right guys we're now back on the outside of the all-new alpha wolf 33BH-L trailer here. We're going to start here on the door side of the RV and kind of work our way around. So starting up front here, you have a large pass-through storage compartment. Now the, in this storage compartment, there is a motion light on each side. So you have one on this side, one on the far side back there. Again, motion light, so there's no on-off switch per se for them. There is a battery disconnect here and the charge controller for the solar panel system, that's an option too. Nicely finished off though inside of there. Next to the door there is the pet friendly leash latch, so you could leash up your pet. Down below you see the power stabilizer jacks. Those are technically an option, manual jacks are standard. This customer chose to order his with the power jacks. All new graphics for the mid-year model change. 
Now here you're gonna also see a little bit different feature. They've been doing this actually for a few months, but it's called the edge power awning instead of the LED light strip power awning. So the edge power awning is referring to the edge lighting. So on the arm, you can kind of see down there on the left, there's a light. And then there's another light on this arm up here. And that light is on a dimmer switch inside, so you can raise and lower the brightness of it. Those arms are adjustable and tiltable, so you can kind of shoot the water in a direction you want when it's raining outside. And the front arm up here does have a manual crank in case of an electronic failure. Little rubber plug in there, you pull it out, stick your socket ratchet in there, and manually crank it in. It's a little more user friendly than some other brands of awnings on the market. Uh, the unit again you seen when we were inside had two entry doors. So on this unit, this is the main entry door here, has the more ride step. The back one going into the half bath also has the more ride step, which is a little unusual. A lot of brands will save a few dollars and do the traditional hover step on the back where these guys spend the extra to do the nicer more ride step. Now the more ride step is rated for up to 500 pounds instead of 300 pounds like a hover step. And it comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable legs on it. And basically it's just a little more stable so when the kids are running in and out of the coach it's not shaking it around as bad. And that step just flips inside the entry door there. Now traditional screen door and basically that just kind of swings around attaches to the main door i got the main door open um, the i wanted to just kind of show you here so you could just get an idea what it looks like but the window on the inside and that window is what they refer to as a slim shade ready so there is actually an aftermarket shade you can purchase and that basically is like a pleated nightshade, so you can actually close off the window for privacy. You have the large folding entry handle there next to the entry door, just to kind of help you get in and out of the RV. And you'll also see there your model number. It has the GIN 33BH-L model there. Just below that is the uh, tank sticker talking about the enclosed tank heater, or sorry, the enclosed tanks, which is all the way down the frame rails, they enclose that bottom, just kind of helping to protect it from a little bit of rocks and debris that might fall, uh, fly up there, and also uh, kind of help enclose it a little bit better for winter purposes. You have two outdoor speakers here, in between those speakers is the cable outlet and electric outlet there's also a little TV mount there if you wanted to mount the TV from inside outside kind of thing and then you have a uh, stove exhaust up top here as well now the slide out also is prepped for solar slide toppers there's little brackets up there on the corners so if you do like the idea of doing uh, slide awning covers talk with your sales guy about that they do offer those as well aftermarket Down uh, beside the slide out there above the blue stripe is a black tank flush to help you clean out the toilet system. Now this door I left it closed, I just wanted to kind of show you. You can kind of see nice shiny door there with some graphics on it. Um, but it does have a window just like the one in the front. And you can kind of see through there a little bit. But that is a tempered safety glass door. So it's a nice smooth look to the outside. Um, so it doesn't really look like there's a door during the or window during the daytime. So a little different look to it. Now back here you do have a little outdoor entertainment slash kitchen area, whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, again, you have the TV hookups over there on the slide of the slide. Down below there is a gas line hookup, so you could do some sort of portable grill if you wanted. Got a little pull-out drawer. You have hot and cold sink over there, a little bit of cabinet space. There is a light along with the blue LED light strip. And then you have the pretty cool fridge out here as well. Now that fridge is strictly an electric refrigerator. It does not work off of propane. 
on around to the back side here, we have the optional travel rack on the back. It's basically a little flip down rack that would allow you to put a bike or two on there, maybe a little bit of firewood or a couple coolers or something like that. Nothing super heavy, um, but uh, just kind of gives you a little more storage capacity to take some stuff with you. Up top there in the center, it is pre-wired for an observation or backup camera type of system by Furion. That's who they pre-wire it for. Would definitely recommend the observation camera so you can use it while driving down the road. Um, you can also see an arch to the roof there, just kind of helping shed away that water and stuff on a rainy day. Now on around to this side, you have two slide outs. The slide outs are again both electric slides. They are both pre-wire or pre-mounted uh, for Solar slide toppers. If you are interested in that, talk with your sales guy about that. Now, in between the slides here is your detachable power cord hookup, and basically this is about a 30 foot, maybe 25, 30 foot cord roughly that comes with the coach. Down below there is the half bath. Dump. So you have a gray and black tank dump right there to kind of take care of the back portion of the RV. Now going on around up here toward the front section, you're going to have your front bathroom area back here. So again, a gray and galley, or I'm sorry, gray and black tank back here also. Now here you have your furnace exhaust out right here on the right hand side. Next to that is going to be your water heater, which is a six gallon gas electric water heater. And you can see pop up there, the electric switch in the lower left corner, your drain plug in the middle, inch and a 16th socket. And you also have your uh, pressure relief valve up top. Remember to pull that before you guys try to drain that. There's a light over here. So at nighttime, you could actually flip on the light here for helping you see around the RV on this side. Outside utility shower, hot and cold water over here. Then you have your cable and satellite inlets, your fresh water tank fill up, um, black tank flush for the front bathroom, and your city water inlet. Now down below under this front section here you see pop up, there is a dump for the fresh water tank right there. It's a larger dump, about a, I think it's an inch and a half gate valve right there to dump out the water much quicker. They use kind of a light gray fiberglass exterior on your sidewalls. You have a white three quarter fiberglass front cap up top here. It does have a couple blue LED lights built in. Lower portion is kind of a black diamond plate look to it. Um, on the corner of the RV here also, guys, you're going to have your sticker information. So the first sticker we're going to pop up here is going to be your gross vehicle weight sticker, your main production sticker, basically. has the production date on it, has your axle sizes, your gross weight, uh, some of that type of information, model number, and things like that on there. Next sticker that pops up is going to be your dry weight sticker. That is the sticker that they stamp on here basically to say that's what the camper weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Uh, pretty much every factory has some sort of scale that when it rolls off they're supposed to weigh it. And it's usually within a few pounds because some manufacturers will add in for propane or add on for a battery. So they always come in and out a few pounds difference. They're never exactly the same, even if it is the same model number, the same options. But uh, I guess you get that a little bit with man-made products. Um, next sticker is going to be your tire sticker. Basically tells you your tire size and pressure. Super important, guys, again, to remember that tire pressure. Check it before every trip. And next, a uh, carrying capacity sticker also. almost forgot that. Uh, just kind of tells you how much weight you can pack into the RV before you're overloading it. Now, up front here, you have two 20-pound propane bottles under that black cover there. And the black cover does actually flip up so you can get to the on-off valves a little bit easier. Uh, battery right behind there as well. 
There is the power tongue jack with a built-in light, manual crank, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, and your safety chain, seven-way bargain plug, and your breakaway cable all on the front of the RV right here. Um, another thing here will pop up real quick picture of the roof part right there solar panel up top uh, most dealers are stocking it with this feature so that that little 50 watt solar panel can kind of help trickle charge your battery for uh, you know a little bit of boondock camping or you know storage purposes things like that all right guys we're gonna head back inside I'm gonna close it up for you show you what it looks like closed all right guys, we are back up inside the RV here again, and I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like closed. Um, again, all three buttons are on this panel over here. And when you're ready to bring in or out, all you gotta do is push one of the buttons. I'm gonna start here with the uh, kitchen slide out here. Again, electric slide, push the button, it goes straight in, straight out. So when it comes in, you can see here it's really, really close to the island. So you're not getting past that slide out portion right there. Now the back bedroom, when it does come in, cannot be accessed from the door here. You can, however, walk through the half bath into the back bedroom and pretty much use the back bedroom. You see it pop, pop up there in the picture. Uh, so you could get back in there and use it, but you can't access it from this door. Now over here on your big slide, you push the button to bring this one in. Now you can let off the button anywhere you need to just to kind of go check and make sure there's not like an electric pole outside or a water pole or something out there that you're going to run into kind of thing. Um, but when it does come in, make sure there's nothing in the way. So make sure your cabinet door is closed. Make sure there's nothing in the floor that it can run over and damage anything. Again, guys, be sure to check out Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Will definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV. Okay, so when this comes in, kind of the same situation here, right up against the island, you're not really getting it over there unless you need to climb over there. Really important for something. Now, spinning around this direction, you can go on into your bathroom here, into your bedroom area here. So if you did stop at a rest area, technically you could come in, you know, use your bathroom, either one of the bathrooms. You could come in and sleep in your bed if you needed to rest. The kids could go back there and sleep in their bed. but you're not going to be able to get to each other without going outside to open up the other door to get in there. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video. I hope that really helped get you an idea on the new Alpha Wolf 33BHL. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe. Doing a lot of new videos on all the new RVs as they try to roll in and out of here, guys.